It was in her two month checkup when the pediatrician heard a heart murmur. They wanted us to go to a cardiologist, which we did, and he then confirmed that in fact she had atrial septum defect and that the hole was quite large. To be told that she had a hole in her heart and to be explained what the consequences were and that more than likely it would not close in her case was very overwhelming. It was, I, I would say, heart-wrenching to find out. She's, she's just been alive two months old and we already have to rush her to a hospital. It was extremely devastating. I remember the day we were told that she would need an open heart surgery. We were very, very overwhelmed and uh, um, started on the process of exploring different hospitals and, and different options for her in terms of surgery. We spoke to many hospitals, both locally and around the country. And before we came to Nicholas Children's, we spoke to a, a, a doctor in, in, in Boston and he told us, he's like, you have the best cardiac surgeon in your backyard. And he singled out Dr. Redmond Burke to us. I remember, um, I was very overwhelmed, but I was you know, somewhat relieved because to know that we could just stay here and, and have our family with us, um, which was so important. And our friends during the procedure, when we met with Dr. Burke, he was just such a wonderful human being. I remember sitting there looking at his hands um, while he was talking I was looking at his hands because I knew those were the hands that were going to be sewing her heart. The day of the surgery the waiting was the worst. <laughs> the hospital and Dr. Burke's team did an amazing job in helping us through that. We were getting calls on a regular basis on my cell phone. Now we did this on Annabella. She's doing great. Now we did this on Annabella, you know. It was a lifeline. I just remember sitting there just waiting for the next call, just just wanting to make sure that, that our baby was okay. I remember when they brought her out and they, they wheeled her out and I must have looked really concerned because one of the nurses looked at me immediately and she said, she's okay, she's okay, she did great. And they just were just so supportive and so, so wonderful throughout the whole process. I went from sheer fear and panic to absolute joy and, and happiness because I, I knew she was going to be okay. And when I saw her wheeled by, I, I just sat back and, and I thought about that interview with him in, in, the, in his office and I said, wow, this guy is amazing, you know. He's one of my heroes, only second to my wife. Annabella turned five two weeks after her surgery and in July of this year she'll be nine, so it'll be four years that she's had her surgery. She's never had any limitations. She's extremely active. She's extremely a happy girl. The experience that our family went through with Annabella led us to the conclusion that we felt we had to give back in some way. We have been able to be a part of the Ambassador Legacy Council, which allows us to share the story, story on a professional level with uh, individuals in Miami. We're very vetted in this community. It's the least we can do. I mean for Nicholas Children's to give us the gift that they gave us of you know, our daughter and the healthy life that she has today. The doctors that are here, the staff that's here, I mean, it's, I, I don't think there's a better hospital for children anywhere else besides Nicholas Children's.